Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Tavana Senpa here and welcome to today's video, which is not, for once, a Jurassic World Alive video. I figured, um, because I've been doing that a lot, I decided to change things up a bit. And today, we're actually going to be talking about an actual dinosaur discovery that has recently been made. We're talking about an entirely new genus of dinosaur that has defied discovery until now. It is a brand new type of theropod from the Tyrannosauridae family. The creature everyone is calling the Reaper of Death. But in the scientific community, we call it the Thanatotherestis degrutorum. This dinosaur is a Solosaur theropod in the Tyrannosaur family and is an early cousin of Tyrannosaurus rex. It lived in what is now modern day Canada between 80.1 to 79.5 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Not much is known about this mysterious creature's physical anatomy, but with the partial remains we have of this animal, and by using its closest relatives for reference, scientists can speculate on what Thanatotherestis may have looked like. Based on its skull, it is estimated to be around 26 feet long, or 8 meters, so it wasn't the biggest dinosaur of all. It would have had a 3 foot long head, a pair of tiny horn like growths above its eyes, a long snout, the sharp D shaped teeth that the tyrannosaurs were known for, a short neck, tiny arms with two fingered hands, a body partially covered in a fluffy down, long hind limbs, and a stiff tail. Essentially, the typical body shape of tyrannosaurs at the time. And it is a significant find because it is another stage into the evolution of the most powerful predators to ever walk the, the earth. As of now, Thanatotherestis is only known from fragmentary remains of its skull, namely its jaws and teeth, and it was originally thought to have been the remains of a closely related genus, like Despletosaurus. And it turns out the remains belong to a subadult, an individual that wasn't even fully grown. This type specimen was unearthed in foremost formation in the upper Heraton sandstone, and it was named after the two people who discovered this animal, John and Sarah de Groot. Now, this could just be me, or do I notice two Marvel character names in this creatures? of a conspiracy theory right there. As of yet, very little is known about the Reaper of Death, as it should be since it was only just recently discovered. But as research is conducted and as more fossils of this unique dinosaur are found, the more we can learn about it. And actually, that's pretty much it. That's all there really is to know about the Thanatotherestis for the moment anyway. This is a really exciting find, you guys. As of now, only over 800 different species of dinosaurs have been discovered, named, and described. But we're only just scratching the surface. There could be thousands of other dinosaurs out there that have yet to have been found. And the next one could be among us. And with today's technology, we're learning more and more about these magnificent animals and the world that they once lived in. And that's going to have to wrap it up for today. What do you guys think about this astonishing dinosaur discovery? I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Till next time, this is Tyrannosenpai signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye bye then. <laughs>